Outside, it is bright and sunny. Birds are singing, bees are droning, and everybody is happy. Unfortunately, we are not outside. This is Rosie. She is a bright, sunny day sort of girl. So how did she come to end up in a nasty little place like this? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. This is Rosie's story. Rosie does not fit in the boring, grey, normal world around her. Rosie lives in a world of her own. Rosie's parents love her dearly, but life is hard in the normal world, where dull is good and abnormal is abhorrent. So perhaps you will forgive them for what they did. Rosie's unusual ways have left a distinct and lasting impression on the neighbours. They blamed her for strange and impossible things. She never noticed their dark looks. She walked on, perfectly happy, lost in her own odd and wonderful thoughts. School did not suit Rosie, and Rosie did not suit school. For the millionth time, her strange behavior had landed her in detention. The thing about you, Rosie, is you never listen. No idea what's going on in the world around you. Take this equation. E equals mc squared. Simplicity in one perfect little package. Now, unless you pay attention, I see no future for you other than a life of muddled mediocrity. Mathematics is the future and you need to be there. As I said before, Rosie, the problem with you is you never listen. classroom would be whispered about in playgrounds and staff rooms for years to come. Rosie was suspended immediately and sent home. But such things do not concern her for long. Mr. Watt was Rose's next-door neighbour. He hated insects and children and considered Rosie to be worse than either. They'd had various unpleasant encounters before. This would prove to be the last. Rosie was a sweet girl, charming and kind. <laughs> but she had her limits. 
Besides, she thought she was doing the right thing. Later that evening, Rosie was still fuming. It didn't take long for her parents to discover exactly what had happened. This girl is a complete menace. She's been she's going on for many months. Nobody knows what she's now. She's, she's plainly out of your control as well. Then neither of you know what to do with her. It seems to me there's only one place for her, and that's your sister. Thank you. 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 Rosie isn't intrinsically a freak. She has just never received the education necessary for one of her peculiar temperament. But fear not, all diseases can be cured. When you see your daughter again, she'll be as normal as you or I. Once her parents were gone, Rose's re-education could begin. No word passed between them. Only an implicit understanding that they had entered into a battle of wills. Schmeising's methods were many, varied, and effective. He kept them secret for fear of accusations of torture, but nobody ever asked about them. Results are all that matter in a normal world. Rosie faced a multitude of horrors, but her spirit was strong, and for a long time she resisted all of his efforts. Some things are beyond our strength, and nobody can fight forever. <laughs> With Rose's imagination safely extracted, Professor Schmeising could afford to celebrate another victory. Pride comes before a fall. And Rosie always preferred a happy ending.